Okay, now we would like to welcome our new, our next guest speaker is from Philippines, Professor Mika Chauvin Flo, and today he will, he will be sharing with us on effectiveness on test performance through peer mentorship among BSN senior students in a multidisciplinary university. So everyone, please welcome. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. So allow me to thank the organizer uh, for having this activity and for allowing me to present my study. So allow me to play and, and share my screen, my pre-recorded video. Good afternoon. My name is Michael John B. Flores, a faculty from Manila Central University, College of Nursing at Central Open City, Philippines. And I'm going to present my paper entitled Effectiveness and Test Performance Through Peer Mentorship Among Filipino Graduating Nursing Students in the Multidisciplinary University. Nurse educators are continuously confronted in teaching methodologies that will improve the performance of the students in the nurse licensure examination. Nursing colleges and schools are continuously seeking ways to increase their respective passing rate to elevate the competency standards of their graduates. Peer mentorship has been presented to develop the learning experiences of the students and as a response of this institution's effort to escalate the student test performance in the nurse essential examination. Peer mentoring programs are increasingly popular choice for educators and youth development professionals hoping to create positive outcomes for youth. Peer mentoring is a process where a person of great experience of the mentor assists or supports less experienced persons or the mentor. Therefore, this study aims to examine the effectiveness of peer mentorship in enhancing the best performance results among Filipino graduating nursing students in a multidisciplinary university. Several studies have been made discussing the experiences of a mentor mentor relationship and explaining the effects of peer mentoring in many universities that implements peer mentoring in order to reach efficient and post academic success. However, according to CASA 2013, it seems to be more rare that the universities implement pre mentoring program to boost academic success. Thus, pre mentoring can be integrated as teaching and learning strategy in improving academic test performance of the students. The research questions that guided this work are number one, what is the level of performance of the group in nurse practices one prior to pre mentoring or training sessions? Number two, what is the level of performance of the group in nurse practices one post pre mentoring learning session? Number three, is there a significant difference in the level of performance of the group in nursing practices one prior and post administration pre mentoring learning, learning session? The null hypothesis was tested of using 0 0.05 level of significance. The research paradigms that describe the relationship between identified variables are pre mentoring and enhancing test performance. The study utilized quantitative quasi experimental one group pre test post assignment. Quasi experimental designs are not two experimental designs. Outcomes may only be measured at the end of the study rather than at the beginning and end. Control group is not a requirement to conduct the study. Quasi-experimental inter-evolving interventions, but do not use randomization. One group pre-test process design involves obtaining pre-test measures of the outcome of interest prior to administering some treatment followed by the process of the same measures after the treatment occurs. Pre-test process designs are employed in both experimental and quasi-experimental and can be used with or without control groups. Furthermore, Despite this flexibility of the pre-test process designs, in general, these will have limitations, including the test to internal validity. The inclusion criteria, level for Filipino nursing students, officially enrolled in course audit, completed the pre-mentoring program. A knowledge questionnaire will be administered before and after implementation of pre-mentoring. The knowledge questionnaire is able to emulate the nurse practice as well consists of 100 items from the full choice exam. The questions cover nursing, nursing care management 100, professional adjustment, research and leadership management. 
The data catering position includes seeking approval to conduct a study, selecting sample using proposed sampling technique, screening potential subjects eligible the criteria, briefing orientation of the subjects, obtaining informed consent from the subjects, creating experimental group, administering free tests, pre-mentoring program which is intervention, administering process, gathering and collecting results for interpretation analysis. The following ethical considerations were observed all throughout the study. For this physical treatment, to answer research questions number one and two, descriptive statistics such as percentage frequency was utilized to determine the level of performance of the group in nursing practices one prior and post pre mentoring learning session. To answer research question number three, inferential statistics independent peak test was used to determine significant difference in the level of performance of the group in nurse practice test one prior and post administration pre mentoring learning session. The table one shows that among 61 respondents who took the group test, 1.63% got a very satisfactory level, 60.66% is in the satisfactory level, and 34.43% in the pre level performance. Two students were unable to take the exam. Furthermore, when process was given and measured after the administration of pre mentoring learning sessions, the result shows that. 49.18% obtained an excellent level, 22.95% gained a very satisfactory level. This indicates that there is a significant increase in the level of performance of the groups. The number of the students who receive a satisfactory and poor level performance increases to 21.31% and 3.18% respectively, which indicates an increase in the total level of performance of the group. This finding suggests that pre-mentoring programs as teaching and learning strategy can improve the student's test performance. According to Zimmerman 2008, when goals are set, students are more likely to complete their goals. In addition, all that inquiry 2000 suggests that learning in and through the mentoring relationships enable the knowledge and productions of the individual to be enhanced. This data should support the claims of Glenn et al., Matthew, Campbell, Thomas Fold and Lennox Trayon, who asserts that pre mentoring enhances the learning experiences, producing high satisfaction rates. The computed P value is 2.96, while the tabular value is 2.0, which was obtained at 0 0.05 level significance. The computed P value is greater than the tabular value. Therefore, the decisions reject the no hypothesis, which state that there is no significant difference between the level of performance of the group before and after administration of peer mentoring sessions. The above results are enforced the research in the field of education identified peer mentoring as an effective way to enhance academic success of respondents. Distinctly, the mentor provides model positive behavior that reflects success and experiences acting as a powerful transmitter of values and attitude, which aim for successful learning. Mentors contributed to the self efficacy by procuring skills that other environments suggest and enhance learning and, and production of knowledge. Cram is developed 1985 ver verified for mentoring a suitable alternative to traditional mentoring programs because it cannot only provide academic but also social and emotional support while matching mentors and mentee on level of age and or experience. For the conclusions, the integration of pre-mentoring has positive force on the best performance as clearly noted in the evolution part of the nurse practice as well. The outcome of the study showed that significant difference exists in the best performance of the nurse practice as well when taught with adaptive lecture and pre-mentoring learning sessions. Nevertheless, the difference in the, best, in the best performance in the nurse practice as one is significantly increased in, and in time that introduction of pre mentoring has caused an effect. This indicates that pre mentoring may be integrated in the curriculum or in the structure, along with other methods of teaching and efforts to bring about effective learning outcomes. 
Based on the findings of study, the following recommendations are proposed. Number one, parametry may be incorporated in instruction as part of the institutional retention strategy by the debaters. Number two, design a well-structured pre-mentoring program. Number three, appoint a committed person or group to supervise the program. Number four, ensure effective introduction of the pre-mentoring program. Lastly, Similar studies may be conducted considering a longer continuance of implementation phase of the study. Once again, I'm Michael Chandy Flores, and these are my contact details, my email, and my WhatsApp and Viber. Thank you for listening. Good afternoon, my name is Michael Chandy Flores. Okay. Thank you so much, Mikhail, for sharing a wonderful presentation for our participants today. Okay, so now let's begin with the question and answer section. And let me read the question for you. So the question is from Chan Thi, uh, which is about how could, how could you please erase some examples regarding peer mentoring may be incorporated in your recommendation? Thank you. Uh, actually, even now it's public. Uh, we are actually adopting this pre mentoring because, uh, as you can see, the results of pre mentoring increase the test performance of the students. So, even though that we are having a physical, uh, we don't have a physical class and we are only having online classes, so we, we are still adopting the, the pre mentoring. So, as you can see, the test performance of the students improved. Uh, although I, I failed to, to get the qualitative aspect, but based from the previous discussion, the pre-mentoring uh, promote uh, society and close relationship, even the relationship between the mentor and mentee. So I guess that is uh, one of the purpose of the pre-mentoring se uh, session. And also to check if the pre-mentoring can be included as one of the teaching learning strategy uh, of the educator uh, for the students. Okay, thank you, Mikhail. Um... Mikael, can I ask you, uh, how long have you, how long did you spend for your research study? Uh, it's almost a semester, so I think that's almost uh, five months. So from the start of the semester, uh, we made a pretest. Then after the pretest, uh, we had the pre-mentoring session. During the pre-mentoring session, this, the mentor and the mentee assist each other uh, to check the the good, the correct answer for for each questions. Uh, they rationalize it. Then after that one, uh, the, we have the post test and we try to check if there is a difference on the test performance of the students. And we are happy that there is a big difference regarding with the performance of the students. Thank you for your answer. Now, the second, the second question is, what do you think if you don't have peer mentorship? Uh, I think we will go back with the traditional teaching, uh, letting our students to learn on, on their own. But I think one of the objective of, of our CMO 15 is to have uh, outcome-based education and to teach our students to be more independent. And we have another component to have a self-directed learning and the pre-mentoring is one of the good example of a self-directed learning. So I believe uh, pre-mentorship uh, can be one of the teaching strategy methods of the educators and also to, to promote the self-directed learning. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And the next question is from Andrian. Uh, were you able to verify if the results of the test performance of the students in the peer mentorship improves their performance in licensure examination? Thank you. Thank you, Sir Adrian, for your uh, question. So maybe that will be my next uh, research topic to check the relationship of the test performance uh, between the actual board exam and their performance during the pre-mentoring session. So maybe that will be one of my uh, future research uh, topics or agenda. So thank you for that idea. But, but, to, but to answer that question, no, I did, I did not compare the, the, the results of the pre-mentoring uh, with the actual board exam. Okay, thank you. Now the next question is from Netra. Could you please provide more justification on how you could do to implement peer mentorship? Thank you. That's one of my recommendations to have a clear guidelines regarding with the pre-mentoring sessions. So I think there should be a clear uh, 
objective, what is the purpose of the peer mentoring. Uh, second is to have a clear goal, what is the purpose of the mentor and the mentee. Uh, there should be an actor orientation regarding with the, with the activity because I think uh, to make this activity uh, effective is the acceptance of the role of the mentor and the mentee. Uh, second is to have a clear guidelines on what will be the activity during the peer mentoring sessions. So all of these activities have been, in, uh, have been uh, introduced or have been considered before the implementation of the intervention. Okay, thank you. And the next question is from Pachun. Sorry if I cannot pronounce your name correctly. Pachun, the question is, would you recommend this tool, I mean, I mean test performance or mentorship to Cambodia? Why or why not? If yes, could you give an overview of the vivid steps of the process of this tool? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the, nest, uh, the nurse practice test one is actually uh, almost similar with the actual board exams that we are having here in the Philippines. Uh, we have actually NPT 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I only choose to have one NPT, which is an NPT 1. I'm not so sure if the content or the topic or the questions uh, covered uh, for my nurse practice test one are similar to your uh, curriculum or to your uh, uh, teaching. Uh, but maybe you can uh, check. Uh, I can give you a copy if you want so that you can uh, uh, try to assess and evaluate the content that I have for my, for my tool. So thank you, sir. And Mikael, for your, okay. We have got another question from Hi. Professor Ivy Corazon. The question is, how would you know the results uh, attributed to treatment when no element of randomness in assigning to participants. I think that is one of the, the, I think that is one of the uh, disadvantage of uh, quasi-experimental because you fail to uh, consider other factors that will affect your intervention. So more often than not, uh, because it, it is quasi, so uh, you expect there are some uh, contributing factor that will affect uh, the results. Of your uh, of your given treatment, yeah. So maybe through experimental can can solve this issue of having uh, to check the validity or the reliability of the outcome. Okay. Now another question from some all. Could you show us another option for test performance? Uh, Allow me to give you a brief introduction about the, the tool. The tool is actually, like what I said, is similar with what we, what the students are taking during their actual board exam. The, the board exam is the certification or the exam wherein the students will be qualified uh, for them to work as a nurse. So what I did, I choose a one concept, which is a nurse practice test one. The topic that are included in the, in the nurse practice test one are almost similar with the uh, questions given by the Board of Nursing. So. The question is, could you show another option for the test performance? Maybe we can incorporate all the NPT 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just to measure if the uh, pre-mentoring is very effective. Uh, again, if you want to measure uh, the pre-mentoring, is you have a, a, a tool. So maybe a, a questionnaire, other questionnaires that will measure whatever the content or whatever the intervention give, given to the, uh, to the group. OK, so. Thank you so much, Mikhail, and thank you for today for sharing and answering for our participants' answer a question. Sorry, and thank you so much for today for sharing.